Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about Autotest data by Selectors Hub. By using this, you will be able to generate a test data just in three steps. So let's begin. Test data plays a really important role. Either you are doing a manual testing or automated testing using Cypress, Selenium or any other tool. You need a test data to test your application. And in order to prepare a data, it takes a lot of effort. I searched on the internet and I found different website available which provides or which help you to generate a test data. But what I found is that there are a lot of limitations. Either there is limited fields or data types or in some cases there are limited options to export the data. But the auto test data has is very good and it really helps you to generate a data in the different formats. So uh, let's go to the browser here and search for selectors hub and here what we need to do is that go to the selectors hub website click on this one and here you will find auto test data just click on explore it will open a new website and autotestdata.com so here you see that we can generate the test data just in three steps the first step is that we need to choose between the different types of data whatever we want in terms of the testing and by default they are provided with some common data types like name phone email address country and so on and similarly the property name so whatever you select here in terms of a data type you need to set the property accordingly right then we have a second option uh, the second step is that we need to choose the format and here you have a very very different format in some cases like if you are working in the Cypress you might need a data in JSON format and if you are working on the Selenium or Playwright you might need a data in CSV or Excel format so there are different formats available you can generate the data in the different format the third one is that how many data we need so for example if we need a data of 100 or the 10 users or 10 data is required we can change the number here we can also preview the data here and finally we can download this data so these are the basic three examples here and let me start from the very basic thing here the data type names so what this will do is that it will generate the names and let me change the property name here is as first name and we can also add the different data types as well just click on add and now we can use these three dots to shift different data types accordingly right so again name and here what i will say is that last name okay then phone phone number so i can change it to a contact number or contact number Similarly, uh, I can call it as email currency, right? So we can uh, use different things here. Number range if we need a number. And here you see that the good thing about this particular auto test data is that we have a different options here. We can select the different options. For example, if we talk about the email and you need specific emails uh, for example you need only yahoo.com emails or you can hot you need a hotmail.com or any just like google.com emails so what i will do is that simply i will provide gmail and here again currency so the name of the field will be currency here and the currency let's suppose start from one to maybe thousand so we can provide different values we need a number and number that should start from 1 to 500 so we can provide different options here and for example if you want a number with plus maybe 6 1 and uh, that's australian code and in the similar way you can change the format here as well for example if you need a different format here and let's put hash here okay and now uh, let's have this data in the json and let's have go with the 10 let's click on generate and you will see that 
it has generated 10 records 10 test data where we have a first name and last name we have a contact number starting from plus six one we have this format we have gmail.com we have a currency ranging between one to thousand then we have a number right so you can see that we have a different values coming up here and it's really easy to generate this one and let me uh, show you the example format here and let me generate so you will see that we have the example format in a similar way just click on html click on generate you will have this html format as well then we have csv we have excel then click on the excel one and we have this data in the form of excel right and uh, let me go to json and let me generate it again and let's download this one and see so we have a json file and let me open this file simply so uh, it's automatically open in my visual studio code and hey you can see that we have a proper json array we have you know first record then we have second third and all it is all numbers are starting with plus six one all the property values are defined or presented in the json whatever we have here uh, in terms of provided here in terms of the property names right so uh, let me um, remove this number from here and let me change it to let's suppose hotmail.com emails and let me change the format here let me go with the three only and first name and last name and what else we can do is that let me add one more data here in terms of a country here let me add a country okay so let me name this as a country here in terms of the property name and let's we are good to go at this time let's do with the excel generate this one and download the excel so you see that it's generated the xls file here open this one and you will see that we have this data in excel format properly so this time you will see that we have a number with three in the middle of a dash just like we provided and we have a different currencies and we have a different countries coming up here right so that's how uh, you can basically generate a different set of data uh, and you can use that test data in your uh, manual testing and automation testing in some cases you might uh, need uh, something alphanumeric right so add this one and i'm naming it as maybe access token for example access token and variations would be like 10 and 10 and let's see and um, here again let me go with the this time let me go with the html and generate this one and html is generated download this html and let's open into this browser so you see that we have got this data so let me go back here uh, let me go to excel again and generate this one and download this one you can also uh, you know uh, copy data from here you can uh, do uh, the refresh the data from here if you don't want uh, same data just go and refresh here and you can also copy the data and let me open uh, this xls and here you will see that we have a column here with the access token and we have some alphanumeric values so we have a very uh, common uh, test data types here and usually it will help you to generate your list and if you want to create a list you can do the list and you can also go with the date personal code street address so the common data types are available and you can easily generate in your uh, required set of format just in three steps provide the data type property name if you have some options then provide that one choose the data format number of data you want click generate look your data 
you can copy from here you can refresh from here and simply eventually you will be able to download this one thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial